So what you see behind me is not what you normally see on this channel. I'm actually at a hotel. And the reason I'm at a hotel is because I had an opportunity to get to Elkhart, Indiana. I had some family members who I needed to come up here with to pick up their RV that they were having work on. And while I was up here, I have an opportunity to meet an amazing person. The person is Bruce, Bruce from Bauer Products. So you've seen the previous videos that we've done talking about Bauer Products and what they've done for our RV, and we get to meet him in person. So we're gonna go and do a little interview talking about him and his company and what they do for the RV industry. So we get to meet him in about, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so, but we're gonna fast forward that all along and get to the interview piece at his facility and talk about what he does for you guys. Uh, so first off, if you wanna tell everybody your name okay. and your company's name and all that. Well, I'm Bruce Bacon. I'm uh, one of the owners of Bauer Products. Uh, I'm an engineer and I, I design most of the, the products that we that we supply to the RV industry. Mm -hmm. So you got a background in engineering, what kind of engineer? Uh, my bachelor's in aeronautical engineering and my master's in uh, mechanical engineering. Oh, aeronautical. I had no experience in aeronautical. I know, I know mechanical. Well, if I was a good aeronautical, aeronautical engineer, engineer, I'd be working in the aerospace industry, but I'm doing a lot, so. <laughs> but it's a family business, so. So um, how many people do you employ at this facility? This facility has uh, about uh, two full-time people that, that run it. So it's a, it's a very dynamic um, place to work. Yeah, so we got to walk around your uh, the warehouse area for a little bit. That's a big place, two people. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're worn out by the end of the week. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> so that's why they're all the weekend. They get some sleep. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Monday starts it all over again. Let's yeah, going. <laughs> we have uh, um, also have an, another part-time person here and, and then our, our sales rep that uh, is in and out here getting parts and pieces yeah. to help out. It's a very dynamic situation for sure. So if they if they go to your website, which we'll leave down in the description below the video, but um, they'll see all kinds of things, horse trailers, campers, all kinds of stuff. But we've got a banner here mm -hmm. showing your uh, system, the key to like, especially for RVs. So we've done some videos before uh, sitting down together here. Thank you for letting us come in. Um, you want to explain a little bit about the, the key to light systems and, and what you do for the RV industry? Sure. Uh, the, the big thing was is that we wanted to get people down to one key to open up everything, just like you have on your car in most people, their houses. You have one key, you don't, you don't, every other door has a different key. And especially with the, uh, the baggage doors when they were all CH 751. Uh, mm -hmm. And here's your trivia CH stands for Cleveland Hardware. So, so <laughs> it, but, but anyway, but that's been around for, I remember as a kid working at the factory, CH 751. So that's, you know, 40 years ago. So, right. and, and anyway, and, and it, and it it was CH 751 was old then too. So, so it's been around forever. Uh, but but um, we actually, we started a key to like program for the, the horse trailer industry mm -hmm. because you have um, drop down feed doors, tack room doors, a manger doors, ramp door, and, and they were all different keys. So, so people were get, buying trailers and they'd get a handful of keys. So this would get them down to one key and it'd be a provide a little bit better security for them just because you didn't have a seven CH 751 on all the compartments. Right, right. Yeah, so we've previously worked together and I put one on mine and my wife was super excited. My girls came over and I said, here's a key. And I was like, well, what does this go to? I said, everything on our RV now. And they were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they were super excited about that. Well, it, it was kind of funny as I was doing a, a rally out in South Dakota and um, I was doing the key to like, and this person came up and said, well, hey, that's great. Do my padlock. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. I said, how many padlocks do you have? Well, I have one on my LP tank. I have one on my trailer. I have the, you know, this thing. I said, oh my gosh. So on the way home, I was just thinking about, okay, how do we do a a padlock. So then we came up with a padlock and it was one of the more popular things that I did right. because it's nice to be able to have that. Yeah, everybody has one of those. Right? Oh yeah, that's right. And Even so, if they don't have an RV, they have a padlock. padlock. <laughs> yes. And, and you can, you know, get a few of those key to like. And you're, you're yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah. that, that's the whole genesis of the, 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 the key to like was just to make it uh, much easier for everybody. Yeah. And then, then from there, I mean, on, on the RVs, you have your, your entrance door, obviously, and mm -hmm. your cam locks and uh, ramp door locks and what we call bar locks and bar cam locks for the leveling and shower doors right, right. and pad locks. And then we've gotten into uh, keyless entries, which are pretty slick. Yeah. I mean, and I'm 
uh, we, we just started our Bluetooth version um, about a year ago, which is really getting very popular. And uh, we're, you know, as, as we get more exciting with this stuff, we've, we've now put on, a, uh, you can run it from your watch, your Android yeah. or Apple watch. Yeah. So we'll, that'll be coming out very shortly. Yeah, speaking of your Bluetooth, you and I had talked about it over the phone. So you're not just throwing a bunch of stuff together to make a Bluetooth lock. You actually have engineers and folks like that really looking in building designs so they're specifically built for that, right? Oh, absolutely. We have a, uh, a electrical engineer and um, and he has a design team that he works with as well. And our, I can't say enough good things about this guy because mm -hmm. he is, I, I mean, I think he invented the electron. I mean, he, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's worked on everything from uh, the space shuttle to automotive type things. Mm -hmm. So we're super blessed to have uh, uh, Bob is our designer there and he's, um, it's it's amazing all the things that he has done and he can do, and, and we work well together. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I gotta um, I want to pull my phone out real quick because uh, as people comment on videos, the last video that we did that has some of the discount code stuff on it runs to September thirtieth of this year. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lady named Trish Watkins. She had a, asked a question, and I wanted to just relay that back to you and see what you got to say. Um, Trish said, if I contact them and tell them what kind of rig I have, will they be able to tell me if they can accommodate it? Also, some other RV locks are too small and require touch-up paint or other ways to make it look good. And then the last one question was, is also do they have military discounts? So we can start with the first half of that. If, if somebody called your, uh, your company mm -hmm. and said, hey, this is the rig I have, do you have the means to work with them to help them kind of build out what they need? Uh, t typically, um, if you tell us what rig you have, that makes it a little bit difficult because we have to Google it because there's only 3,000 different types of RV makes and models out there. Mm -hmm. um, what we typically ask is someone to take a picture and email that to us and then mm -hmm. we can tell right away. And then sometimes they tell us um, if, it's, if it's a brand X or Y or Z, and they give us the model number, we do have some cross-references. Right. We could say, okay, that will take A, B, B, A, R, B, or so, whatever it is. But um, yeah, we, we're more than willing to help you out on that. And and you're right, Some she's correct that some of them, the the, the, the flange pattern is a little bit different, so you know there might be some touch-up paints here and there, but most of the time we're okay. Yeah, so. yeah I know for me, when you and I work together, um, that was one of the first questions is what kind of camper do you have and what are you looking at? And then we sent some pictures plus some measurements. And I know on the website too, that if you look at what you're wanting to buy, that you've got measurement indicators in there and tell you what you're looking for, Correct. especially for like the, the latches and stuff of the ones that I have on mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and there's been different times when, when uh, uh, somebody asks, well, I'm not sure what it is. And I'll say, okay, I'll send you a drawing. This is mm -hmm. this is the cutout, or this is you know what the size of this latch is. Do you still want to work with it? So we try to be very flexible and and working with people on it because right. we, obviously we want them to be happy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. So the second part was, uh, oh, you you answered one about the touch up paint. Um, um, that's the part where I edit out the video. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I think that just. Well, yeah. the, the military discount, yes, we do offer that. And of course, I don't know what that code is off the top of my head, but um, Rachel, Vicki, and Melissa do, and they're the important people <laughs> because right. they take the orders or, or they help you process the orders on the online. So, yeah. And so that goes with the other videos. If somebody has any questions or concerns or builds or anything like that, they're more than welcome to call the phone number on your website, which will also be part of this video description. They call that, they ask their question, and you all start working with them on getting them what they need, right? Correct. Uh, another comment from Edward Zimmerman. He said that their RVs are already coming with some of your products already on them. So that's that's pretty cool. So you reach out with other manufacturers, which will lead into another question in just a second. But you're already working with some manufacturers to have your products already on them? Absolutely. There's there's uh, several of the uh, RV companies that, that go along with the uh, key to like system, and there's some others that that need some encouragement <laughs> to, yeah, to, yeah. to get there, but um, but we sell we sell both. Well, one of the, the funny things was is when we first started getting into the RV industry. Now, now we're sixty three years old, okay, mm -hmm. but we really started pushing RV stuff in about 13, 14 years ago. A anyway, um, and we weren't doing key to like, so you have two two doors, and one door was keyed different than the other one. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I was getting emails at least every other week saying, why did you key this a lot different than the other one? I got to put uh, a fingernail polish on one and, and this and that. Or, and, and, and so that's one of the things I went to the, the door companies to, that really helped. And Lippert was, right. was big in, 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 uh, to, uh, into the whole key to like system because they said that would make things easier for the end user. And, and we did enough rallies um, that uh, the people that we did the, I mean, we had a line. Once we told people that we could get them down to one key, because mm-hmm. most of the people were walking around with lanyards with a bunch of keys. That, you know, it was so it really um, got very popular. Mm-hmm. And the rally people talked to the OEMs, and some of the OEMs said, "Okay, we'll give this a try." And when they found out how simple it was for them to do on on their production lines, it, 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 it flowed from there. But yeah, so really cool. yeah, yeah. We, we so we're we're still um, trying to get the more of the companies to go key to light, yeah. uh, but uh, we're getting there. That is really cool. So I know you drove a hundred miles to get here today to help do this little interview piece. I don't want to drag it on too long, but to kind of uh, help people understand, you know, you're not only supporting the RV industry, but you're located like right in the heart of it, right? So. Um, a lot of viewers may not know, but Elkhart, Indiana is kind of the center hub for all manufacturers. I mean, I it, Grand Design, Forest River, you name it, right? There's a center hub for manufacturers where they build them. And you you just so happen to be located here in Elkhart, Indiana, where your facility is. Correct. And what, how does that play with how you support the manufacturers and your builds and stuff like that and being located in this area? Well, uh, originally we were uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're still in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We have two locations there. Um, and as as time went on and, and as the business has grown, uh, we literally ran out of space up there. And and so what happened was um, three years ago or so, I was thinking instead of expanding in Grand Rapids. Let's my my business partners and I, which is my brother and my cousin, right. decided to let's have a facility down in Elkhart. So, and it's very tough to get a place down here in mm-hmm. Indiana. This was this was the third third uh, facility that we were able to to uh, you know make an offer on and and, and get. Um, but essentially, when you're down in Elkhart, you're by. Everybody and you mentioned Forest River and Grand Design, which, which is Winnebago, but there's also Thor, which we don't right. want to, you know, slight our friends there as well. And and the the amount of RVs that are produced in this area is staggering, and um, and we're really trying to uh, service all these these OEMs as best we can. And being close by means that we can get them parts in a hurry if there's some type of uh, uh, need for the production line. And it's also helpful too, is if, if uh, there's any issue, I can just run over to the line, take a look and say, okay, we need to do this. Right. And it, it, it increases the speed of, of what we can do as, as, as far as uh, um, servicing the industry in general. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so to quickly wrap up, um, you have a website that they can go to, right? And we'll leave right. that down in the description below. You got a phone number. We'll leave that down there as well. Um, we previously had a video right before this one talking about the discount code. So the IYO15, so 15% off on most of the products, not all of them, right, but right. most of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and they can do that either on the website or by calling in. So all that information will be down below. Um, also, I'd like to ask anybody that's watching the video, if you call the facility, ask for Bruce. Bruce may or may not answer him. He's a busy man. You heard what he said earlier. Um, but also in that, just to tell him that Jason from Imagine Your Odyssey uh, said hi. Hopefully they'll take a note and they'll relay it back to Bruce. So I want to say thank you for taking a few minutes to sit with us coming in today. I know today's uh, an actual weekend, so you took some time off your weekend to actually come in and do this which is shows how much Bruce really cares about the RV industry and supporting folks like yourself. So thank you for doing that. And I appreciate some taking your time with us well, today. I appreciate and you coming you out here. Want to take a couple of seconds and just uh, do a real closing statement. And, and pretty much just saying thanks to everybody. I mean, yeah, I, what, what I want to say is that we're just really grateful to be able to be working in the industry and, 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 and working with the rallies and, and everyone who has an RV. It's, it's always been a real pleasure to be able to work on 
all the different aspects of the RV and, and try to come up with better um, hardware solutions for uh, the general public for it. It's, we appreciate it and we're grateful. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, looking forward to all the future products that you get ready. I know you're working on some stuff behind the scenes now, so mm -hmm. looking forward to all those and, and thanks to come. So I want to say again, thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Appreciate it.